new carpet lot and welcome back to Carping Forever UK with Scotty P. Um, today you join me back down at me Park Lake. Um, obviously again COVID-19 restrictions, I can't travel too far so and we're only allowed to day fish um, and this is literally on my back door. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos it'd probably take me about I'd say about 15 minutes with a loaded barra to walk down here um, and that's for a 24 hour sesh probably about 10 with what I had today but still <laughs> as lazy as I am I jumped in the car <laughs> um, so yeah I've had the rods out what probably about half an hour um, I've had a couple of bleeps but nothing's developed into anything just yet um, it is a little bit colder than what it has been the last couple of days uh, the temperatures have been right up there in uh, you know the 10 degrees 11 degrees sort of area um, and when I have popped down here I've seen fish um, you know cruising across the surface um, so later on when it warms up a little bit or when the sun pops out um, I'm gonna stick a zig out uh, probably about four or five foot and um, see if I can tease something that way um, so yeah, like I said, I've got me, I've got me rods out at the moment. Baiting approach, I've gone quite light. Um, I've got a little uh, pellety spod mix that um, that I've made up with some of the Teddy Fisher stuff that I've got. Um, I'll show you that later on in the video. Um, and I've also added a little bit of the tour. the tour liquid gold um, over the top. Just one tiny little glug over two spoms. Um, I'm only doing two spoms just so I can clean the spom out because this stuff is really, really sticky. So yeah, so that's my baiting approach. Um, I am spomming out. Uh, like I said, I have seen a few fish moving over the last couple of days when I've come down here for a little walk round. Um, I'm trying to fish on the back of the wind. So I'm trying to get right on the back of the wind. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed I can have something out so let me just um, flick the camera around and show you where I'm fishing so then guys as you can see I'm down at swim one at Fairlands Valley Lakes in Stevenage um, now I'm gonna... I've zoomed in as far as I can get down there so I'm fishing just down the bottom here where where that uh white rope is or where you can see the white boys and the swans down the bottom there um, I'm fishing off of the second white boy um, that you can see in uh, where is it there I'm fishing just off of that second white boy with my left hand rod um, I've had one pick up so far um, and a drop back off of that one um, now the reason I've picked fish down here is because it is the furthest down the lake and where the wind is blowing from down this end up towards me. Um, hopefully they're held up down in that area. Um, normally when the wind's blowing this sort of way they are held up behind that white rope there. I call it the white rope, that's what we all call it down here. Um, so yeah, that's my left hand rod. I may move another rod down there later on in the day if it, if it does warm up and if we start getting a few bites down there. So my middle rod is just out in front of me. Um, if you can just see that bin in the far distance, I'm literally just fishing about here in the water, um, just on that little, what I'd call slack area um, of water. Oh, it's getting a bit chilly now and my right hand rod is around about, I've just come away from that boy slightly. I'm about here, um, inside that little ripply area of water, which is probably not the best shout at the moment. But like I said, that one, I'm probably gonna look at changing to a zig later on anyway, um, if it warms up. But fingers crossed, we can have something out. Good afternoon, you carpy lot. Um, well, nothing to report really. Uh, apart from I moved my left hand rod to literally just under the rod tip, um, purely because 
where I was fishing out um, so far, my line spooked the fish and it actually jumped out and nearly took t took the line with it. So it nearly wrapped itself up in the line. Um, so yeah, so I thought, well, I'm not gonna bother fishing that far out if they're literally just there. So I've put one under there for now. Uh, nothing's come of it yet, but give it a little bit longer, see what happens. The sunshine has just come out. Um, it has started to warm up. Um, and there has been little pockets of like flat areas where it looks like people have baited up in the past and the fish are now moving on to feed onto them. Um, so, I mean, I'm keeping an eye on them and I'm thinking about maybe moving up a swim or two um, if I see another one um, in the next 20 minutes, half an hour or so. Um, but hopefully they might even move on to my bait in that time and I'll have a fish on, on the bank for you guys. Uh, so yes, yeah, so like I say, other than that, nothing else has, has really changed. Um, I have done me live on Facebook today and I gave two stickers away. Uh, I'm going to be doing another one later on. So, um, I mean, I know that by the time this video goes out, um, it would have already have happened. So hopefully some of you guys had a chance and, and saw me live and, and maybe even won a sticker. Yeah? I'll show you the stickers now. I've got them with me. So these are only the prototypes, um, but I have got the finished product on its way. Just that. Right. Anyway, guys. Well then, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, if I have anything, I'll jump on and I'll, uh, if not, I'll see you in a little while. Tight lines. Oh. Hi guys, let me know if you can hear me, just wait for a few more of you to come on. Hello Tom mate, you alright buddy? We've got a couple of you on. Just had a little bleep there on my middle rod. Oh, the temperature's dropped though. I think it feels like two degrees at the moment. The sun's behind the clouds. But the wind's looking good though. How is everyone this morning? Oh, Tom's watching from on top of a roof. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, Anthony, it is a little bit chilly. Um, like I just said, it's um, it feels like two degrees, my weather app's telling me. So, so yeah, it's a bit cold. <laughs> I'm not that nuts. <laughs> there's a few people down here today. There's um, I'm down at the bottom end of the lake, but there's about three people setting up at the top end of the lake. So I'm not the only mad one. <laughs> right, let's spin you around so you can see the lake. There we are. So I'm fishing out. I don't know if I can get round that boy without moving. My right hand rod, oh, I've gone way too far there. Bloody hell, let's go back guys. My right hand rod is just off of this boy here. My middle rod is just in line with that been in the far distance, but about 14 and a half wraps out. Sorry, my think fat fingers are uh, distorting the screen, guys. And then my left hand rod is, I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Yes, I can. 
the orange boy that you can see there, literally I'm about one, two rod lengths off of that, um, locked up tight. Not really had much of a bleep off of that one yet, um, but I had to move it back, so. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I mean, I've spoken to the bailiff. The bailiff says they're not really, they're not really moving around that much at the moment. But hopefully, we can get them, uh, get them moving around, and we can get one on the bank for you guys. But when I come down here um, yesterday and the day before, just come down here for a little walk round, um, for a few baits out and stuff. And I saw a lot of them. Well, I say I saw a lot. I saw about four or five of them, and they were moving on the surface. They weren't deep in the water at all, but I think that might have had something to do with obviously the hot weather and um, obviously, well, the pressure's been quite high the last, last couple of days as well. So, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up, guys, if you're still watching. There we go, a bit of blue sky coming out now. Hopefully, a little bit more warmer weather coming in. Right, so a little bit later on, guys. Um, I know a few of you are working, so I know you're going to be flicking on and off. So while I've got a couple of you online, um, what I'm going to be doing a little bit later on is a little free giveaway, guys. Yeah, of my new sticker range that I'm going to be um, doing little free giveaways on. I hope you like them. Yeah, I've got three of them. I thought I had two, but I've actually got three to give away. Yeah. So pop back on a little bit later on yeah that one i think is more of like a car vinyl yeah all for your buckets or wherever you want to stick them um but yeah if you fancy popping back on in a little while about 20 minutes or so i'll probably be doing i'll probably give one away then and then uh well i'll pop back on later on through the day as well and give a give the rest away um try and catch it while i'm on the live Thanks for the loves, guys. Absolutely, really appreciate that. Um, a little bit slow, George. Um, I've had a few, I've had a few bleeps, mate, on me uh, on me left hand rod. Um, and literally, just as I set the live up, my middle rod um, had a little pick up and dropped back. So yeah, it's, they're, they're moving around. They're out there. It's just trying to get them feeding. But whether they're feeding on the bottom, totally different matter. So what I'm thinking is, because like I said earlier on in uh, in the live as well, I've come up here a few days on the trot now and I've been doing little wanders around. And obviously with the hot weather and the high pressure, I've seen a few cruising around on the surface. So um, maybe in about an hour or so, I might reel in and uh, set a zig up and like I said, put a candy stick out and uh, yeah, see if I can nab one, nab one that way. Well, I'm not really that confident on zigs because I've only used, well, this will be the first time I've ever used one, actually. Um, so I was only thinking about putting just one rod out on a zig. Um, I'm going to start quite high up, probably about five foot, because um, I know it's six foot out in front of me. Um, so just like a foot under the surface. And then uh, if I've had nothing in an hour after that, then I'll probably take it down another foot um, and then see, see if I can find them that way. And then if I... If I do then start growing in confidence, then I'll put my middle rod at the same depth. So yeah, hopefully, mate. You're not, you're not, babe. George, what have I told you about calling me babe when I'm on the live, mate? Come on. <laughs> yeah, mate, I, I, the social, I can't wait for that. That's, that's gonna be mental. It's gonna be brilliant. Um, see all you guys and that meet up with uh, all the tour lot. That'll be good. Hiya Josh mate, how are you doing? That's it and um, Michael, this lake to be honest with you is probably the best lake for me to get practice in. It's um, it's quite an open lake, there's not many features to get snagged up on and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, it's a very good lake to practice on and, and get your confidence. And it is also, I mean, once it starts waking up a little bit more, it's, a, it's quite a prolific lake as well. I mean. You can sit here and have 16, 17 fish in a session and then have to reel in because your arm aches, you know? It can absolutely go mental. 
Yeah, so this is my local park lake. Um, you can only fish from where I'm stood now, in line with me on the opposite side of the bank as well. Um, you can only fish up until the end of them railings there. Um, and then right up the top end there, you've got the dam, which is the deeper end of the water. Uh, probably looking at about 15, 16 foot down there. Yeah. Lovely, I love this place, to be honest. If I'm ever struggling to get a bend in the rod, I come down to Fairlands. I stick a rod out and I tell you what, it just, it just fills you with confidence. And that's what you need half the time is, um, is to come back to your roots and just, just get a bend in the rod, you know? My little tour bag. Right. I've been using a little bit of this today. I love this stuff. I think it's blooming brilliant. Sticky as hell, but brilliant. I've just been putting a little dollop of that over, over each spawn. And I'm also reducing the amount of spawns I'd normally put out normally here. I'd come here and whack out five spawns straight away. But today I've put one spawn with a little bit of that over the top and then another spawn just to clean the spawn, the spawn out really because otherwise it just sticks together and I can't blooming open the blooming thing. Um, but yeah, I had a little trade the other day as well with somebody. So I've got a little something special today. And this is on my middle rod at the moment. Oh mate, it, do you know what? It is, it's like dynamite. It is absolutely like dynamite. The, I've seen it where in, in the summertime where you can just literally, it goes like, you put it out neat and the lake will just go like a blooming jacuzzi. They're, they go mad for it. The, the food signals that it sends out, absolutely crazy. But yeah, that is what I have on my middle rod at the moment. The cherry bomb. Got it set up in a snowman rig set up as well. They smell absolutely amazing. Oh mate, the sweet corn hydro. <sighs> yeah. I'm all over that like a tramp on chips. That is gonna be absolutely killer when uh, when I get on that. <laughs> I mean, we all use corn, we all use maize in our, in our mixes and stuff, so why wouldn't it work? Do you know what I mean? All right, guys, if you could share the, uh, if you could share the live, that would be absolutely amazing as well, guys. See if we can get a few more watching, then our... Uh, I'll give one of these away. If using slime as poo slime. Trail from the ducks. <laughs> oh dear. Well, could happen, couldn't it? It's possible. Oh, I'm really hoping that blooming sun comes out soon. Right. So then guys, who wants bait, bait bucket sticker? I think this is a clear one. So when you stick it on it, will uh, you'll be able to see the pattern of your bait bucket if you've got a camouflage bait bucket or anything. Let's have some thumbs up and some hearts and uh, we'll go from there. Right, if you're watching guys, if you can just give me a me in the comments.
Morning, Robin. How you doing, bud? All right. So, the first one. Do you know what, George? Give me a PM, mate. Send me your address, yeah? And I'll get one sent out to you. All right. And I've got one more that I'll do now in this live. And then in a little while late, later on, I'll come back on and I'll give the other one away. No worries, George. I appreciate, I appreciate you watching, buddy. You know, what, what else can I say? <laughs> you guys, you all support me watching my YouTube videos and that. So it's the least I can do. All right. So that's the one I'm going to do next in a little while. Probably give it 10, 15 minutes or so. Have a little chat and guys, catch up. Oh, mate, do you know what? I was going to bring it, but when I don't have shelter out here, because the wind can get quite high, it can take a little while to bloody boil the kettle. So it's like a waste of gas. So, but hopefully, hopefully, um, I might have two little uh, special guests turning up, my missus and Bump. Um, so I might get her to make me a cup of tea and bring it down to me. Uh, but that'll only be if the bloody weather warms up. <laughs> Mate, I think a few of us might get in the 30s club in the social. You've seen them fish on the website. They're absolutely amazing. Yes, I know, yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I realised what it was, Dean, um, yeah, no, I never went to, never went there, but, um, I think we went up to Real for adventurous training, something like that, doing some high roping or some crazy stuff like that. I don't do heights, so, yeah, it weren't my thing. Get yourself back down to Nash Lake, the summer, mate, so worth it. If you manage a bag one. Yeah, I, I agree there. Nash Lakes, I can't wait. I'm going to do that one again at some point this year. Hopefully in the summer, if I can blooming get on there. I mean, I know you've got a pre book now and all that, but, you know, it is what it is anyway. Let's let's see what I can get, get on, get to do. Got a little baby on the way and all that, so, you know, I've got to, got to spend a lot of time this summer with the missus more than, more than fishing. But, you know, the little, little, little Nelly will be worth it, bless her, when she comes. Oh, it'd be good to meet some of the tall family. Yeah. You need a beanie hat. I do need a beanie hat, Ryan. <laughs> I do. You're right there, mate. <laughs> do you know what? I see a lot of a lot of the bank life lads. I mean, even um, Alan Atkins. Every time he pops around mine, he's always got his beanie hat on. Always like, oh, really? I'm gonna have to get myself one of them now. Mate, um, George, I'm looking out for a pink rod already. Um, the missus reckons that she's not going to like fishing, but I said she'll be kicking her out the door within the first couple of years to join me on the bank. <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, I'm going to give this last sticker away, guys. And then uh, I'll come back on a little bit later on because I'm getting a bit cold and I don't want to keep you guys too long either. Guys, don't forget to comment in the comments um, if any of you want to get involved because I see you all liking, but I don't know your, your faces. Who's that? Josh Wright. Josh Wright. How you doing, buddy? I didn't think you was there. I thought you had disappeared. That was a person I couldn't see whose picture it was. Thanks, Ryan, mate. Oh, 
Oh, right, let's have a look. Right. Dean Jones, Dean Jones, if you can send me a PM, mate, um, and with your address and that, and I'll get you, uh, I'll get you this sticker sent out to you, buddy. All right. For now, you carpy lot, tie lines. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely day. Right, let's try that again then, shall we? Hello guys, right, um, well, I've changed a few things around. I've now moved my left hand rod, I've put that um, to the end of the jetty there. Uh, my middle rod is now on a zig, um, and as you just see, I had to shoot away there before I even started recording. Um, because it, it, it had dropped back significantly, so I thought, oh, better hit into that. So struck into it, nothing there. Um, I think maybe it might have been a fish swimming over my line. So um, instead of fishing 14 wraps out, which is where I was fishing, I've now come back um, uh, four wraps. So I've come back to 10 wraps out. So yeah, and that's about it. I've uh, chucked out a load of more load more bait over my right hand rod so let's see if we can get anything on the bank before the sun goes down all right guys anyway well it did warm up for a little while um temperatures starting to uh to go down again but that's because we're losing the sun uh behind the trees there um but yeah it's still looking good for a bite uh just just bumped into one of the guys that watch my videos so that was pretty pretty nice actually I had a little chat with him he uh he had a couple out yesterday um on the on the pole which is uh is paying to his advantage he's he's only fishing the margins um i mean he only had uh, little ones but fair play to him he, you know you've got to be on the bank to catch them and he's catching them uh yeah so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there for a little while now I'm gonna head on to Facebook and do me live over there now and uh, get this last uh, sticker given away. All right, guys, tight lines. So then, guys, I thought I'd just show you quickly where my rods are positioned now. So my left hand rod is just off the edge of this um, jetty here. So I'd say about there in the water. So I'm fishing quite close to the bank on that one, yeah. My middle rod is my middle rod is still in line with that bin at the back there, but I'm about here now because I've come back um, for wraps, like I said earlier in the video. So yeah, and my right hand rod is 14 and a half wraps in line with the the bench there now. I've moved it over a little bit. I saw um, saw a little bit of activity there, uh, and I thought I'd just chuck my chuck the rod there for for the last what couple of hours before I pack up and go home. But yeah, it's been a beautiful day. It was a bit cloudy and overcast to start, but it's brightened up and uh, and become quite a warm, pleasant day. Yeah. So I'll just show you around the lake again as I always do. That's the lake, all the way up there down to the dam, where I said to you before is the deeper waters. Uh, the young gentleman that I spoke about that uh, come over and said hello to me, he's up that end of the lake as well. And you go over there, you can fish over at the disabled swims over there. And you've got a nice little calf there, doing absolutely amazing breakfast in there they do. Beautiful cups of tea and coffee as well. And then down the bottom there, down to the waterfall. Okay. well good evening you carpy lot and god is it good to be out of that wind that wind is cold out there the temperature has absolutely plummeted again i've decided to call it a day 
it just weren't it weren't happening today i tried to zig i moved it in to 10 wraps i then moved it back out to 12 wraps to see if that worked um it just it was just one of them days i mean to be honest with you there was a few people fishing the lake and uh well there was three and all three of us have blanked and we was all at different ends of the lake so um i just don't know what else i could have done better maybe had fished the middle of the lake um i don't know but anyway um like i say i'm gonna call it a call it a day there guys tight lines everybody take care Stay safe.